The Book of Enoch is a remarkable ancient text that has captivated readers for generations. Written in the 1st century BCE, the book contains a collection of prophecies and revelations from God to Enoch, the father of Methuselah, who was the great-grandfather of Noah. It's an extraordinary account of angelic beings who reveal the secrets of heavenly realms and the fall of humankind to sin. Within this book lies a powerful message about the dangers of pride and arrogance, as well as God's ultimate plan for redemption. But all that begs the question, why was the book of Enoch banned from the Bible and lost to history? Was it actually holding secrets that people of the era didn't want anyone to see? Join us as we discover just what the book of Enoch reveals about our history and what those revelations mean for our own future. But before we do that, let's go over some details about the book of Enoch that you might not have known. The Book of Enoch isn't actually considered part of divine scripture. It wasn't included in the canon of scripture accepted by Jewish and Christian traditions. The text in the Book of Enoch tells the story of the fallen angels who descended to earth and married human women. In further details, God's judgment against these evil angels as well as their punishment in a place called Tartarus. But we'll get into that in detail a little later. The Book of Enoch is also known for containing prophecies about the coming of the Messiah, as well as predictions about the end of days. It has been cited in numerous ancient and modern sources, including the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Talmud and various early Christian writings. But because of the controversial nature of its content, the Book of Enoch has never been accepted as part of the official scripture. The text contained in the Book of Enoch is often seen as a warning against human arrogance and evil behavior. It speaks to God's power and justice, emphasizing his ultimate control against wickedness. But you see, as the book was, well, controversial to say the least, it was banned from the Bible and eventually lost. It wasn't until 1773 that a Scottish explorer, James Bruce, brought three copies of the Book of Enoch back to Europe from Ethiopia. Since then, it has been translated into numerous languages and studied by scholars in many different countries. While it isn't accepted as divine scripture, it certainly gives us insight into the beliefs and thoughts of ancient cultures and reveals things that the world hasn't even talked about in centuries. So let's dig a little more into that, shall we? Enoch was a figure in the Old Testament of the Bible who lived before the Great Flood. According to Genesis chapter 5 verses 21 to 24, he walked with God and he was not, for God took him, making him one of two people throughout divine history who didn't die but were taken to escape death entirely. When he was taken, he was 365 years old. It is said that God loved Enoch so much that he was brought to heaven alive and granted eternity. It was to never experience death at all. Why? Well, the answer to this question has been found in a book of the same name, the Book of Enoch. The Book of Enoch was written in ancient Aramaic and is thought to have been composed sometime between 300 and 100 BCE by a group of Jewish ascetics living in Palestine. The content of the Book of Enoch is quite diverse, containing a mix of religious and mythological material. For example, it contains accounts of the fall of angels from heaven, known as the Watchers, visions of the future messianic kingdom, eschatological revelations about the ultimate fate of humanity, and much more. The works also contain several passages that explain why God chose to take Enoch alive, these passages suggest that God saw in Enoch a potential leader and messenger, someone who he could entrust with his secrets and empower to spread his message of righteousness throughout the world. As such, while ordinary mortals were subject to death, Enoch was granted eternal life and a special mission to serve God. He is also mentioned briefly in several other books of the Bible, including Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 and Jude chapter 1 verse 14 to 15. According to Jewish tradition, Enoch was the author of the book of Enoch, an ancient Jewish apocryphal work that tells a story involving angels and humans. The book is traditionally attributed to him, although some scholars have suggested that it may have been written by multiple authors over several centuries. 
Enoch's ministry was the subject of many interesting stories in the book of Enoch according to the text. God appointed him as a scribe for his heavenly court and tasked him with writing down the secrets of heaven. He traveled throughout the universe, visiting realms that were off limits to other people and collecting spiritual knowledge he found there. His journey was difficult at times and he faced many challenges along the way. He eventually returned to his homeland, bringing with him a wealth of knowledge and insight he had acquired during his travels. Enoch's writings form the basis of the Book of Enoch and are said to have been passed down through generations before finally being recorded in written form. Enoch's work reflects themes of justice, truth and righteousness, values that were central to the ancient Jewish faith. He wrote extensively on topics such as God's divine judgment and his powerful spirit messengers who accompanied him during his travels. In addition to that, he also wrote about the origin of evil and its various manifestations in the world. His writings also contained warnings about divine punishment for those who disobey God's law and ignore his commands. While we've already discussed the main book of Enoch in detail, there were several writings found that came with it. Accumulating them created other books too. Let's discuss that briefly. There's the Book of the Watchers, the Book of the Parables, the Book of Astronomy, and the Book of Dreams. The Book of Parables is a collection of stories, proverbs, and symbols that are used to explain deeper truths about God's character and plan for humanity. It includes stories about Enoch's travels in the heavenly realms as well as parables about God's patience and mercy. The Book of Astronomy is a collection of astronomical knowledge that Enoch gathered from his angelic teachers. It includes information on astrology, timekeeping, calendars, seasons and how to tell when eclipses will occur. The Book of Dreams is a collection of visions and revelations that Enoch received while asleep it includes prophecies about the future as well as insights into God's will for humans. The Book of Watchers is a revelation given to Enoch by various angelic figures who have come to teach him about God's plan for humanity. It includes teachings on the origins of angels, their roles in creation and how they interact with humans. It also teaches about the consequences of human sin and how God will judge the wicked and reward the righteous. The most popular writing of them all, however, is about the giants. It is stated in the book that the giants were created when some of the angels from heaven had intercourse with mortal women. Some believe that this is how humanity was born, stemming from angelic and human heritage. However, it also states that these giants caused great destruction on earth because of their enormous size and strength. The book tells us that God sent the archangel Uriel to warn Noah of the flood that would come and wipe out these giants and their evil deeds. They're to burn in hell for the rest of eternity. The book also speaks of two other archangels, Raphael and Gabriel, who were sent to imprison the rebellious angels in eternal darkness so they cannot continue their destructive ways on earth. The same darkness is believed to be what binds the devil and his minions in hell. There are some scriptures that also mention that the fallen angel repented. It said that these angels, who are now known as watchers, were given a second chance and sent to teach humans knowledge of astronomy, metallurgy and other arts that would help us in our evolution. But no one really knows which version of the watcher's fate was really written by Enoch. These teachings were also believed to be the foundation of the Kabbalah, an ancient form of Jewish mysticism. These stories from the Book of Enoch are not only used to explain some biblical stories, but also to give us an understanding of our universe and how it works. It is believed that these stories written in the books were meant to teach humans about good, evil and the consequences of our actions. These teachings could be used as a way for us to choose right from wrong and cultivate our spiritual growth. However, there is one thing we have to mention. You see, there are several reasons why the Book of Enoch was rejected. One of the reasons is that the Book of Enoch also mentions Noah's Ark and the Flood. The thing is, Enoch wasn't even alive when the Flood happened. That's why, according to some religious scholars, Enoch couldn't possibly have written about something that had not yet occurred at the time when he supposedly lived. 
One of the main issues with the Book of Enoch is its chronology, which can be quite confusing at times. For example, there are some references to events that appear to take place in different chronological orders throughout the book. Additionally, many characters and events remain unclear due to a lack of details or explanations. This makes it difficult to accurately assess the context of certain parts of the book. Language and cultural inaccuracies are also present in the text, which has led some scholars to believe that there were later additions made to it. It is possible that attempts were made to update or adapt the content in order to fit changing contexts. This could explain why some of the language and cultural references seem out of date or inconsistent. The inconsistencies in the Book of Enoch should not be overlooked, as they can help provide insight into its origins and authenticity. A thorough re-evaluation of the text is necessary in order to better understand its significance today. Additionally, it may provide useful information for future studies of other ancient religious texts. In conclusion, the inconsistencies within the Book of Enoch are numerous and varied. Although scholars have proposed various explanations for these discrepancies, it is important to thoroughly re-evaluate the text in order to gain a better understanding of its context and relevance today. Additionally, examining any potential influences on the book could help provide further insight into its authenticity. Despite this, however, there are a few Christian denominations that do accept the Book of Enoch as an inspired work of scripture and give it credence. In addition to this, certain scholars and researchers have come up with theories that explain how Enoch could have possibly known and prophesied things that have not taken place yet. Plus, there are theories that suggest it's written by several different authors, as its content changes drastically at certain points in time. While the beliefs on the authenticity of the Book of Enoch may vary greatly, one thing remains true. The Book of Enoch is an interesting historical document that provides insights into the beliefs and practices of ancient people. Therefore, regardless of whether it is accepted as a part of the Bible or not, its contents remain an important source of historical information. And, even if there are multiple writers, it has brought to the surface several pieces of information that talk about how the world worked centuries ago, and how the sinners always have a day of reckoning. And, well, that might just be a bit of foreshadowing for the way we live today. Could we all be headed for the same fate that the wrongdoers did? Or has our reckoning already started? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.